At some point in your education, you may need to write a literature essay or a literary analysis. In a literature essay, you may be asked to talk about the plot or the theme of the story or a certain character or the author's point of view or the setting of the book. The purpose of a literature essay is to show why the author uses specific ideas, word choices. It analyzes elements of the literature, such as the character, plot twists, and or the sequence of the events to show more clearly the author's intent for writing the piece. There are a few things you should not do in a literature essay. Do not just summarize the piece of literature. Do not just retell the story. You need to prove your own ideas about the assignment that you have been given. Do not use the word I or we or us. This is too personal and it's not used in this type of essay or in fact in most types of essays. Do not spell the author's or the book's name wrong. This is one mistake you do not want to make for sure. Do not use slang words in your essay. And definitely do not make up information in your essay about the literature. This is especially true if you are writing a literature essay for an exam just to try and look impressive. The essay format for this type of essay is similar to most types of essays where you have an introduction, body, paragraphs, and then a conclusion paragraph. Let's take a quick overview of how you would write this type of essay and then we will look at each part in more detail. Here's a sentence that you can use to begin your essay. In the, and then insert your genre, for example, a novel or a poem, then insert the title of your book by and then write the author's name, and then write your topic of the assignment. For example, if this is your assignment, how do melancholy and uncertainty play a part in Hamlet's revenge? You might write, in the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare, melancholy and uncertainty play a large part towards Hamlet's revenge. After writing your introduction paragraph, you will then continue to write your body paragraphs. For each body paragraph, you will introduce your first main point and then give the reason you believe that this is true and then present the evidence from the book or a piece of literature to prove this. And finally, you will restate the point. Then you will need to write your conclusion paragraph here. Or you could use this sentence pattern to begin your conclusion paragraph. In conclusion, it is clear that, and then you would insert your assignment topic, and then you would put in your main points that you used in your essay. Our example might look something like this. In conclusion, it is clear that melancholy and uncertainty played a large part in Hamlet's revenge due to... So let's look again in a little more detail. Step one is planning. What is the question asking you to prove? Be sure to read the question carefully and answer it correctly. It might help to highlight or underline the key words in the question topic. Then think of three main ideas that you can use from the text. Each of these three main ideas will be a body paragraph. Step two is to write your introduction paragraph. You could use the formula sentence to begin your introduction and then you could include some background information and then your three main points to write a thesis statement showing how you plan to present your evidence. 
Step three is to write your body paragraphs. For each body paragraph, introduce your main point. Then give an example found in the text as a reason for this point. Then explain how this example proves your main point. You need to show clearly why this example proves this particular main point. And finally, restate your idea and write a linking sentence to the next main point. Step four is to write the conclusion paragraph. The conclusion paragraph should summarize what you have presented in your essay by reviewing your three main points. Now here are some tips you might want to consider when making an analysis. What images or events does the author include? What type of language is used? What is the tone and mood? What are the character's motivations? What does a scene show about the character's background? What are the universal concepts the author is trying to communicate? What is the historical time period and place? Is the story chronological? These are all good things to consider and possibly include in your essay. And here are some common questions about the characters that you might also think about including. What are the protagonist's flaws or weaknesses? What are the antagonist's flaws and weaknesses? What character is most believable? How do the characters in the story develop or enhance the theme? How do the symbols within the story develop or enhance the theme? You can also include some historical background as well. Who is the author and what is their story? What is the significance of this novel in the time it was written? Try using some of these ideas as you write your literature essay or literary analysis. So here in a nutshell is how you write a literary analysis or literature essay. I hope you found this video helpful. Happy writing! And be sure to check out my workbooks that are designed to be used along with these videos.